Dad, how does a jet engine not melt itself from the inside? It's literally on fire the whole flight. Because it's not just fire, Steve. It's controlled thermodynamics. A jet engine is basically a flying Brayton cycle. Wait, I've heard of the Carnot cycle. Who's Brayton? Brayton's the guy who figured out how to turn continuous combustion into thrust. Here's how it works. Air comes in, gets compressed, gets lit on fire, and then explodes out the back. Fast! So the engine just burns air and fuel and pushes it out? Pretty much. But it's the temperature and pressure changes that matter. First, the compressor section ramps the air pressure way up. That takes energy, sometimes multiple compression stages. So it's like shoving extra oxygen into the fire? Exactly. The compressed air hits the combustion chamber, fuel gets injected, and boom! Temps can hit over 1,500 degrees Celsius. But here's the trick. The turbine blades that sit right behind the flame, they're only rated for 1,000 degrees Celsius. So how do they not melt? They use active cooling. Tiny channels inside the blades let cooler air flow through, keeping them just under their melting point. Plus, the blades are made from nickel-based super alloys, sometimes coated in ceramic. So the turbine is spinning in a fire tornado while trying not to die? Yep. And while that's happening, it extracts energy to drive the front compressor, keeping the Brayton cycle spinning. And all that just to push a plane through the air? That, and to let you eat pretzels at 35,000 feet. <laughs>